In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Satan is not dead. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from evil. John 17 verse 15. Satan is not dead or palsied, and he prepares minds by degrees to become imbued with his spirit and to work after the same manner as he works against those who bear responsibility in the work of God for these last days. In the future, Satan's last exploits will be carried out with more power than ever before. He has learned much, and he is full of scientific scheming to make of no effect the work that is under the supervision of the one who came to the Isle of Patmos to educate John and to give him instruction to be given to the churches. Every ingenious device will be used, every possible method taken advantage of, to lead men to live a lie that the truth shall not stand as God designed it to stand, to prepare people through the sanctification of the Holy Spirit to stand firm as a rock to principle. There are those who do not humble their hearts before God and who will not walk uprightly. They hide their true purposes and keep in fellowship with the fallen angel who loveth and maketh a lie. The enemy puts his spirit upon the men whom he can use to deceive those who are partially in the dark. Stay yourselves in wonder, cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and hath closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, hath he covered. Isaiah 29 verses 9 and 10. A spiritual drunkenness is upon many who suppose they are the people who shall be exalted. Their religious faith is just as it is represented in the scripture. Under its influence, they cannot walk straight. They are scientific schemers, and those who could and should have helped because of a clear spiritual eyesight are themselves deceived and are sustaining an evil work. The developments in these last days will soon become decided. When these spiritualistic deceptions are revealed to be what they really are, the secret workings of evil spirits, those who have acted a part in them, will become as men who have lost their minds.